what do we got? 34 year old, white male, extremely handsome. Thank you. Deader than dead. Well, that's unfortunate. He's really handsome. What's his temperature? 70.77 degrees. Interesting. What's the temperature on the thermostat say? 70 degrees. It looks like it's been set for the whole week. But what does this mean? I know someone who can help. Fun with Sim, please like, comment, and subscribe. How may I help you? Fun with Sim, we need your help. Someone has murdered a completely handsome man. Thank you. And we need your help. The average person has a body temperature of 98.6 degrees. He has a current temperature of 70.77 degrees, and the house has been at a constant temperature of 70 degrees for the past week. Can you figure out how long ago he died? Sure thing, I can help you. Hello there, random smart person on the internet. You have probably seen crime dramas where the coroner is able to give a time of death based on the temperature of the body. But have you ever wondered how they know? It's actually because of math, and more specifically, differential equations. Let's look at what we know. The average human temperature is 98.6 degrees. The handsome guy's current temperature is 70.77 degrees, and the room is at a constant temperature of 70 degrees. There are just two more pieces of information we need. First is a control. We need to know how quickly a body would cool off in a 70 degree room after a certain period of time. It doesn't have to be for this specific crime, just a control. For this scenario, we will say that after six hours, a body will cool off to 80 degrees in a seven degree room. Second is Newton's law of cooling, which we will use to solve this problem. Newton's law of cooling states that the rate of which an object cools is proportional to the difference in temperature between the object surrounding and the object. This could be written like this. DT over DT is the rate of change of the temperature of the body with respect to time, where capital T represents the temperature of the body, or in this case, the dead body, and little t represents time. K is some constant, and M is the temperature of the surrounding area, and in this case, the room. This gives us a first order linear differential equation. Now I want to solve for capital T. So I move it to one side and everything else to the other. I use algebra and divide, use calculus two and integrate, get the natural log, multiply it by negative one to make it positive. Now get rid of the natural log. And now we have to deal with the absolute value sign. If you recall, when we take the natural log of a number, that number must be positive. That is where the absolute value sign came from. So this means that M minus T could be positive or negative. We will deal with the left side first. Remember our rules for exponents, do a little subtraction, multiply by a negative one, and boom, we have solved for t. Now, we must do the same thing on the right side. Same as before, exponent rule, subtract, multiply by negative one, and there we have it. We have solved for t. We still have two variables that we do not know, c and k. It is easier to solve for c first because we know what the body temperature is right at the time of death. We know that the body's temperature is 98.6 degrees and the time is zero since that is the time of death. And the temperature of the room is 70 degrees. We plug those numbers into our formula. Remember our exponent rule of anything multiplied by zero is zero and anything raised to the zeroth power is one. Subtract both sides by 70 and we get an answer of c equals 28.6 now we must do the same thing for the right. Plug in our numbers, exponent rules, subtract, multiply by negative one, and get an answer of C equals negative 28.6. Now we can solve for K. In this case, we will solve for E to the negative K since it will make solving the next equation much easier. Again, let's take what we know. At T equals six hours, temperature equals 80 degrees. We plug that into our formula, do a little bit of subtraction and division, we get this. And finally, to get rid of that exponent, we take the sixth root of it all. Now we know our e to the negative k. Doing the same thing on the other side yields the same answer. So as it turns out, it doesn't matter which formula we use as long as we use the correct formula and the correct c. We are almost there. Now we will solve for time, t, where our temperature, capital T, equals 70.77. We have solved for all other variables. Here's the formula input all our numbers, we do a little bit of subtracting, 
a little bit of dividing, raise everything to the sixth power. We want to bring that t down, so we take the natural log of both sides. Using our natural log exponents rules, we can bring down the t, divide both sides, and there, we can solve for t. Now, grab everyone's favorite TI-89 titanium edition calculator, plug it in, and we get a time of 20.64 hours, or 20 hours and 38 minutes. See? Math can be fun. What you got, Stim? Chief, I solved it. Based on the average person's temperature being 98.6 degrees, the room he was in had a constant temperature of 70 degrees, we know that the body will cool off to 80 degrees in a 70 degree room after 6 hours, and its current temperature is 70.77 degrees, I can say that our handsome victim died 20 hours and 38 minutes ago. Thanks, Stim! Chief, we caught someone who was seen leaving the residence about 20 and a half hours ago. That's our guy. Book him, Nano. Man, I really had fun with STEM.